Hello, here we are again in the heat of the night. Although today it looks the yeah, my CPU is about 62 degrees, which is not too bad. Cool. So let's continue doing things. Uh, I think uh, what I put in the in the bottom of the screen, I don't remember, I think it is that we're going to do the collision detection, maybe a little bit of map. Yeah, let's do some more things for the map and then start doing the player. Although I haven't thought too much about it, uh, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, but I have multiple games doing it, so I can we can just borrow for one of them and keep going because one month one day you still have a lot of things to do the to-do list is long and i've been drawing a little bit and i think i have a title for the game which is going to be gold mine run super 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 interesting so Gold mine run. This is uh what would we do say to this as a DOS game? Um Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Cool. Let's do this this sorry. This, this, and yeah, we have a game title Gold Mine Run. Super impressive, I'm very pleased with it. I don't know, I mean, some time ago when I was doing more jam games, very often I I started with actually I'm thinking about this now and it doesn't need to be transparent at all right because the background is going to be black well let's do it let's give it like this for now um yeah so yeah when I was doing more game jams like how long was that six nine years ago almost ten years ago um very often i started doing the title of the game like you do the the menu screen and that can inspire you where to go from there right so yeah it's not amazing but it will be okay i think it looks it has the it's going to fit the arcade kind of vibe i'm looking for anyway so okay so we got that mm, we got the name so let's start with things so let's just start with some map work um although okay i'm thinking that yeah let's do it and then when we test it when we test this we will find that it doesn't work and we can fix it but I mean, it's going to be simple anyway. So, what are the chances that I do it wrong? I do it wrong, right? Um. Okay. Um. So. So we said that the first solid tile is going to be forty. So we can do for example okay so this is all right yeah let's put it here so map first solid it's going to be 40. uh solid let's go with solid or first block Okay, so and here we're going to do map is block. 
I don't know why I'm not typing that correctly. Uh, I'm missing the T always off from int. So it's going to be X and Y. So we agreed already it's going to be 16 um, because 320. Uh, although I'm thinking maybe, nah, let's do it like this. It's faster. So X and Y. So basically this is going to be return CMAP x divided by 8 uh, which we could be doing 2 4 8 so we can do 3 right ah it's okay let's we have a modern compiler right so what the hell let's do it bro so and then it's going to be the same for y uh, and no, I'm not doing it properly. So it's map style. Yeah, it's even better doing it like this. It's not only that the compiler is going to optimize that for us. It's at some point I used that piece again for whatever. Um, yeah, and I have the uh, the define, so I can change that, and this will work. So it's probably better. And then we need to multiply this by what? By map width multiply. No, that's it. So this has to be uh, bigger or equal to map first float. Okay, let me do that. Uh, one, two. No? Put that down to date, please. Okay, finally. Yeah, I want to use the tax. And I, did, I don't think I was using it. So, C tax, yes. Guten tax. I use Guten tax to maintain my C tax uh, when I'm working with C. So yeah. So basically, we get the tile in the map, um, and if it's bigger or equal to first blocked, then the idea of the first blocked, then that's it. We are done. It's blocked. That should be it. And I guess if we wanted to do map is deadly, we could be doing the same with with this one, which is, is 100. Uh, okay, let's do that because I'm completely sure. Map first deadly, which is going to be 100. And it's going to be just this, but with differently map is deadly and that's it so these are the functions we're going to use quite a lot uh, was, is it worth it to compile it? let's compare about something uh, and use variable tiles is that so? Yeah, why the... <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Because I'm using binary tiles to start anyway there. And I was confused. I, I added the tiles and then it was C map instead, which is the current map. So we can say here. And that's it. Or oh, said oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll discard that because it's the background that we decided not to do. So in here it's going to be uh, yeah, it's just this so so uh Wait, 
whatever. Something like that. Okay, so um so that's going to give us everything. Uh, no, we need more things for the map. Uh, but it's going to be with the entities, right? So enemies. Okay. Entities. Um, yeah. But we probably need the entity system first. Well, it's going to be more or less by the same time anyway. So cool. Um, so so we have a main here. Um, but I think I'm going to wrap that. So I'm going to manage a state here. And we're probably going to have so the main is going to grab two other things which is going to be um the game maybe and then we'll have the menu but for now let's go with the game so Let's do that. It's going to be a game, and there's going to be a run game. It's going to be here until we press escape. Perfect. So, um. So we need to do the wrong game now. We need to implement that. So we implement the wrong game and the game is finished. I don't remember how I'm pressing the start. Yeah, okay, I'm putting it down. Okay, so what are we going to need here? So the game is going to use few things that we're using here. We need the keyboard, BGA, and text. You know, we need all of this. No. We need all this. And we need standard in at least. And we're going to need more things, but for now, let's go with that. So, okay. So, how are we going to do this? Um, so, I've been thinking about this, uh, and I think. I mean, this should be compelling, right? Implicit declaration. No, it's not implicit. Boy, wrong game, wrong game. Oh yeah, okay, sorry about that. Computer, so. So we need the keyboard, yes. We need PGA, do we need PGA? Yes. Do we need text? Uh, probably not. And we don't need the map either. Do we need data? Yes, because we need to set up the palette, right? Oh no, and the map as well. No, because we're going to need the map in the game. There you go. So we need to move some things here. So... So this stuff needs to be moved. And we probably want to do the update here. Okay, now it's happy. Yeah, because we're not going to do anything with the map. Uh, although, to be honest, sometimes it's, it looks cool. We could be doing the menu screen, but no, I want to do it arcade style. It's going to be the title, maybe some credits on the bottom, copyright, and, you know, clear, like press fire to play or something like that. Fire to start or... 
we will show a high score of the day or something like that. You know, very simple. I mean, if I have time and I feel like it, I might do a, a maybe a high score table. We can even save on disk, but probably no. It's not the priority. Cool. So right. So um, well, and this probably has to do something, right? So, uh, just, just, just look for now. And yeah, so that's it. So we're wrapping things. Should be doing the same. Uh, no, it's not going. It's not doing the same at all. So we need to do it like this. And for now, we just run the game. When we have the menu, the menu will call run the game, and and that's it. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, I was thinking about how I'm going to structure this um, because I end. I always end making this very complicated in C, and I don't know why. It's because I don't think I never think I, I never plan things in advance. So let's see if by thinking about it a little bit, I can do it better. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have a static variables where it's needed, and then probably have some functions to give access to it by pointers or something like that. So because obviously. So, for example, the player is going to have his own variables and it's it's on a state. And what I have done in other in other places, in other games, is you know all sort of different approaches to that. Like it's just a regular entity, the player, which is not useful because we want to have control of how we process the player. So. Instead of having it as a regular entity that runs update and draw and erase and whatever, I think we're going to make it simpler this time. So the player will have his data local in the player.c, for example, and then we can expose things through functions or whatever, like, uh, you know, do we collision with the player? Then we pass an entity, but that's, that function has access to the static variables, right? So in that way, I think the game will need to have um, uh, local variables here, right? Uh, because, you know, all the things that we're going to have in the HUD uh, over... Who is head? Uh, what, I never remember what is... Is head? Something, something, uh, head up display, man. So yeah, the head up display. I don't know why you call it, call, keep calling it that. It's just the score and, you know, the hood. <laughs> that we're going to have on top, right? So we reserve already when we render in the map. We reserved 16 pixels height of, of height, right? So, um, shall we do that anyway? Because we are structuring the game. Yes, I mean, let's do something. Let's do whatever. Okay, so, so we're going to have here the um, game variables. And I'm going to make them global because in that way we don't need to worry about passing them around. Because it's global, and because it's a game, nobody, nobody, it doesn't matter. So we're going to have lies, right? So we're going to have score. Now for the score, can we use a thirty-two bit? Yeah, because this is a thirty-two bit machine. Excellent. Um. We probably want to have a high score, right? Uh, 
that is going to be yeah we need to make that available to the menu right um yeah we'll see not for now so time so the time is going to be interesting because for the time we need to use the timer that i thought i was not going to use but then i didn't know what i was going to make with the game and now that i know we're going to use it so we need the timer to count time to make sure that the uh, the pass of time so to count seconds so we're going to need that but i know we don't i don't think time needs to be owned by game time is better if it go, goes with the timer because it's the one that is going to update that and it will give us and we need to implement some functions to control that so um so we're gonna stay have the stage and for now we're going to do this i guess um, <clears throat> or maybe we should include the goal. Okay, so so gold, and if we have the pickaxe, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the pickaxe. So for now, I'm not going to do anything. So so when we run the game, in this case, we only have one map. So we don't care much, much about that, but every time we run the game, we need to say some some stuff, right? So so we're going to start with three lights, for example, which I don't know if it's not too much or whatever. I mean, we can give extra lives uh, based on a score with a limit of nine, something like that. Um, so the score is going to start with zero. And I duplicated this. Why did I do that? It's because I copied and then I forgot. So lives, score, time is not coming here, stage and gold. And, and and let's have high score as well. And you know we can say a value like whatever. I still don't know what is going to be the, the scoring, so maybe fifteen hundred is too much. Fifteen thousand is too much. We we'll see. Cool. So a score is going to be zero. A stage is going to be zero. Let's make it zero base. Uh, and then goal, we don't know yet. So let's say a number, whatever. Okay. So we, we initialize this when we start the game. And now that we're working on this, we can do the, the hood, right? So um, let's call it update. Or oh, what do we do? We do render. Okay. And we can have Okay, so usually what I do in 8 bits is because drawing the the hood takes time and it's expensive. I only draw the things that change. So usually what I have is a variable telling me that the hood is dirty. And if it's dirty, I call, I call render. And otherwise, I don't do it. Um, I mean, one thing we know is going to be all the time is that we're going to wait for vsync and, and update the, the screen right 
and and also another thing that's going to happen uh let's do it why not So uh, let's call it hot, why not? And then here we're going to say hood clean is zero and then we're going to call hood lies is one then the score we're going to use bits so stage can be four goal can be eight then his high score is going to be 16. And and we draw. So basically we say full equals full all. And then in here we say if put then Just kind of basic. Which is not what I was planning to do today. I was planning to start adding the player, but let's let's add that. And I will do something that it might not look great, and then I will review that because it's likely that I need to think about it. But for now, so when we run at the hole, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to say that the hood is clean, and then it's just going through it. So. So what are we going to use here? Um, blah, 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 blah. We can say let's have a buffer and uh, that it can be, for example, 32. Something like this you can do, for example, in DG, DJG, D, D, uh, SDCC. You can do that. It's a, it's a compiler I use in 8 bits. Uh, the compiles facility, you can do that. It's, doesn't allow you to do it. I don't know. Is this actually working in here? I think it does. Ah, oh, well, I need to include game, right? It's code the I'm gonna use. Fine. Yeah, but it's happy about it. Okay, cool. So we're going to use a buffer because... Uh, so, um, let me think first. Um, okay, so if who... Um, so if we ask for everything, then we need to render the bits that are background that we're never going to update. So for that we're going to have two rects source and destination. Um okay, so for source we don't know what, but it's going to be always the sprites. 144 by 144 and the destination is going to be we don't know we don't know and we don't know we don't know is that true no this is not true we only need it when we do we need to do all so we can start with the first one so the first one is going to be the lives. So it's going to be in 128. 
32 and it's going to be 16 by 16 and we're going to put it in 0 0 because it's going to be the lies so um, let us see uh, I don't know how this works um, okay so um, let us see oh the sprites which is binary sprites to start and then source and destination cool and then okay wait a minute we need to do something else we need to open the font and i'm going i'm going to change the font the font doesn't need to have transparent and it's going to be better because if we don't use transparent it means that we don't need to erase the hood when we update things because we can just overwrite and it's going to be perfectly fine cool so so now we're going to and i don't remember what is this and it is in standard io of course what a question Cool, 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 cool. So, so basically, in our buffer, we're going to do. Wait a minute. Do we need to do this? Uh, yes, but not now. <laughs> we need to use put text here. X, Y, and the text. Okay, so put text. We're going to say the X is what we're going to put, and it's going to be so we said we have 16, right? So we can center that, uh, which is 8, 8 minus half of 8, so it's going to be 4 pixels. So, in 64 maybe so that's going to be the x and then we'll put the number of lives let's do that so we can try so put lives and then we do sprint def b then the integer which is the number of lives and then put text on 16 so it's going to be 24 see 16 plus 8 24 uh, 4 and then analyze and it did crash what what? What did what we did? What did we do? Uh, I don't know. All right. That's pretty bad. What? 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 Well, in reality, we don't need this to be initialized at all. Because the sprint dev is going to do that for us, right? Um, so it's likely to be this, right? Oh, so it was in the file actually. What is complaining about? Huh? Oh no, so this is not the one that is going to be wrong. I should have suspected about this one. But why is complaining about lives? 
I'm confused. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter now because we removed that. Okay, so it's the hood, obviously. So in here, right? So what can it be? Um, Oh, because, huh? Wait a minute. Bina binary font start. Did we break the font? No, we didn't. Um, I'm confused. It's because something in here. But that should be fine, right? No, it's not fine. What happened? Did I break the font? Um, no, it's indexed color. I'm, I'm confused by this. So, put text is not working now. Why not? <sighs> what is going on? I mean, we tried this already. Um, It's going to complain about this too. Anyway, it's fine because it's a warning, but it's not an error. So that doesn't look like my font, does it? Um. Oh, I know it is. Oh. oh, stupid me. Okay, okay. Okay, it's because we only have uppercase letters. Oh man, that looks not the way I expected. <laughs> um, that's it. Okay, shall we instead of putting the text, shall we just draw the little heads? But then that means that we need to delete the little heads, right? So we need to erase. Um, well, it's okay. Let's do a buffer of 64, all to zeros, and then, yeah, I mean, the gold is going to look awful as well, if we do it like that. Anyway, anyway, we don't, don't worry about that, let's not worry about that, skip this, and then... Nine can be a good maximum, right? Uh, so no. Okay. So and then we say if 
lies is bigger than i so then we do this otherwise we do b and then we don't need to do this up here and then we say men set b0 b0 64 which is not exactly what I understand as fast so but it's okay no I don't like this We can just have a black spray here. Uh, like, we don't care where, really. Um, here. I mean, it's incredible how, how I'm wasting time with this. This should be super quick and easy, right? So, so this two are, are like this, which is not true. It is not true because the gold is not 16 by 16, it's 8 by 8. So, uh, let's put it here. Whatever. So the source is always going to be the same side. Destination is not. So let's put it here and that's it. So source destination. But then we need to change things here, right? So we need to say source. And X is going to be is going to be changing, right? No, it's going to be changing. Yes, it's going to be changing. Uh, no, we can do it in a different way. Okay, source is going to be always this one. The one we were saying, right? Which is going to be 128, 128, 32. And then in here we say source y is going to be, I guess, Okay. Is that correct? It's not. Oh, because we need to after that we need to say destination. Destination X. It needs to move sixteen. Uh and maybe not sixteen. We can do twelve. Can we do it smaller? Okay, I'm going to be look a bit bigger okay looks okay we can leave it like that i don't like it too much so what if we have nine lives it's going to look horrible yes it's going to look horrible Anyway, wasting time. That's what we're doing today. Mm, maybe I should have thrown a mock-up beforehand to save us 
on this maybe anyway I didn't know say it was going to be 16 uh, 4 I think it's better like that even if it looks not great <laughs> it's okay It looks better. It looks much better. So game's start is going to be three. Um okay. Uh, more things that we need to add. Um we need to say put the time right. So and where are we going to put the time? So 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 time is four times eight like this and so so that is going to be center the world time yeah but it's not going to be four so we need to move four a space and two digits so it's going to be seven so okay 132 so 100 32 4 time <coughs> I mean we're going to have a placeholder so it's going to be like this for now so and obviously okay we need to do the time as well We can do we can do it already why not now because we don't have time <laughs> yeah let's put a, a fixed value why not so so we're going to be it's going to be two digits and it's zero right for now and it's going to be 132 plus four times eight 164 oh no plus one one space yes 172 so 172 so that's the time um okay what else the score so the score we're going to put it after the lives so it's going to be score and we're going to say six digits because it looks better right and it's going to complain about the size of that but for now so we put the lives on 14 so 14 plus 16 let's say it's 30. and it's going to go on playing about things yeah so it's a long integer Ooh, that's starting to look like it. 
Um, what else? So we have lives, score, the stage, gold and high score. Uh, let's go with the gold, shall we? So maybe after the score, we can put the gold. So now source X is going to be different because it's going to be this one, right? So 112. Uh, the Y is going to be the same one, coincidentally. And, and the destination, uh, height, and width is going to be 80 instead of 16. And the destination X is going to be what? I guess it's going to be this is a score. It has to be 30 plus 6 times 8. That's 8. So let's say 86. And destination Y is going to be 4. So this is going to be gold. And this is going to be lives. Okay, and then do, 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 do. so after score, either is called if there is called. I mean, I am going to assume that you're not going to have to collect more than more than ninety nine pieces of gold. Maybe, maybe it's not. A, it's not a good assumption. So, so it's going to be 92, right? Uh, a little bit too close. So 94. Yeah, it's about right. So no. Can we make those box make it bigger? I wonder. So normal. Can we do normal 3x? Yes, we can. There you go. Oh, perfect. I can see now. Um, it's not quite, is it? It's like, this guy has to be 96. Yeah, because it will be 16, but... Hello! Isaurio, how are you doing? Uh, no, it was better the way it was. 94. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Um, cool. So, uh, what else? The stage and the high score. It's probably going to be too much. Let's do the stage, shall we? So... After the same, oh, thank you. So we can do a stage. Um, so we know that time is 132 plus three times eight. So we can add 
Maybe 16 to that. And let's put a baseball there. And we can do the high score. So we know we know how it's going to look like at the end. So high score. High score. And the high score we probably don't want. We don't need to write high score. So it's going to be uh, six plus so it's going to be eight so we're going to put high only for high score right so it could be eight times eight and then we do 320 minus that so 256 256 256 so so 256 plus 16 272 which is what we're talking about before so that should play the stage as a play holder and the high score uh not quite see it's not going to fit ah i don't know I mean, I like the idea of having the high score, but then if it's too much, it's too much, isn't it? I think I had the same problem in Magica. So it's going, just not going to be high score, my friends. I don't going to put the high score on the on the hood. There's no space. I think in Magic I had the same problem. I had the same problem, and when I did is when you were doing high score. I changed the, the score and I I just saw the score in yellow, I think. Uh, let's take a look. I think I did that. We can, it's just looking at the screenshot. Uh, do we have a screenshot here? Yeah, there is no space. I didn't have a space. I had the same problem. Um, What did I do in the same? There you go. So this is going to be pretty much, and I couldn't write time because I couldn't center it because um, this is to the character. So basically you can draw things in between because it was seven, I couldn't center it. So I removed the word time because what is going to be an, a number that goes down every second. It has to be time, isn't it? Right, okay, 172 is not really the good, a good number, so that's not the one. Um, so, we remove the score, because it doesn't fit. So, eight times, so 220 minus this is 256, there you go. And we can add the stage already. Uh, yeah, we, the high score is going to complain always because I, we're not using it for now, but that's fine. So, okay, so last thing is stage. Um, it's going to be always to. And it's going to be 272, we said last time, right? And no, that's not it. What? Oh, okay. Because it's 256 plus 5, 6, 6 times 8. 304. No, that's not the one. This one. Cool. 
shall we put the gold next to the stage instead? Or maybe a stage and then the gold. Or does it really matter? Do we need to know how much gold we need to collect? Probably we don't need to show the gold, really. Yeah, let's not do that. Do we need to say, yeah, we could be saying a score because we're going to have a space now. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like showing the gold. So... No gold, we don't show the gold now. Only the lives, the time, the stage. <sighs> and that's fine. And it's simple. And it works. So basically, the first time we run this, because the hot is hot all. Uh, when it's hot all we're going to do the background as well so probably we don't want to do that all the time even if we're going to update everything and then we can do an or of these different values like lights and score and stage and time it will update all four but it won't do the background so i think that's fine and we can do all if we want to update everything so this only updates the things that change and we signal that by saying the value of hood here basically and if it's not clean which is zero then we render it and that's basically it um i mean it's missing the time and i'm not doing the stuff that was planned anyway so Okay, things that we need to do here, so... Uh, okay, so... Let's be there. Um, so... In to do... We have done some things here, right? So, we have done... Okay, so this is to, to review because I'm not completely sure why I want to do that. Because I still don't know what I'm going to do with the pickaxe, right? So, I don't know. Uh, so, there is something missing here. So, the clock, right? Um, but I think we can go now so the font we say uh, is that no that's not Okay, what else? Uh, 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 uh. So... Okay, the price has changed because we were trying to do something stupid. So we don't care about those changes. And in here... Okay, so... Okay, so you keep saying so all the time because I'm thinking. Let's look at the timer. Um, no, in main, because I was going to say death. Can you believe it? I've been working on a scala all day, that's why. So. We're going to free all because we need to free uh, the keyboard 
and driver and we need to free the timer right and okay so we need to do that and that shouldn't make any difference hmm? and now we need an interface to deal with the clock basically so so ticks and ticks too because we do the weight i mean the weight is going to be useful kind of uh but i don't know i don't think we really need that and we know it doesn't work um i don't like it to be honest I'm going to remove it. I don't know why we have the milliseconds here. Um, boom, boom, boom. So what do we do with this? I'm going to remove that. I don't think we're going to use this. Don't like it. So, but in here, we're going. We can have a clock. So Okay, so timer start this is not something we're going to use but it's going to be useful to know. So we're going to keep it here. It's going to be 55 or 55 we're going to say. So we're going to have timer start, timer stop, and timer resume. Right? And then it's when we're going to get everything messy and it's going to be terrible then. Because... How are we going to tell the hood that it needs to account time? Uh, how do we do that? I mean, the messy thing that I think I have done everywhere is making the interrupt here, update the hood, hmm. and then wrap this into, you know, this can go run, oh no, what did I do? I, I made a copy. So we can make a copy and wrap it into disabling interrupts. And then we work on the copy and we will deal with any changes next time if something happens in between that could work but it means that these two things are going to be dependent and i don't like it um, okay we can say Maybe. Why not? So Okay, so that's the interface. Now we need to implement this. Let's do that. 
So, timer star. What is the timer star going to do? Well, um, so it's going to say that updated is zero, and then we only want to have here. So, yeah, because this is going to be sec sec seconds, maybe. And, and clock enable, whatever. So. So, C. And then clock enable is going to be one. Cool. So this is going to set the timer. Now stop. We're going to do is clock enable is going to be zero. And timer resume what it's going to be is going to be Log enable is going to be one. Easy, right? And in here, what we're going to do is if clock enable, we do something, which is going to be clock. So it's once every this amount of milliseconds. So if we have one second in milliseconds, and divide that into 55 is more or less. more or less. So every time we call this clock increments by 55. Right? Maybe? See, because the timer is 82.2 times per second so if we one second one second in milliseconds we divide by that is 54.94 which is what we have here so we can do 55 and then if clock is bigger than that we went over a second so what we do is clock minus a seconds we get a reminder and then it's a calm down it's not a clock clock sex goes down well we can say if clock sex is is bigger than zero then we reduce that and that's it so the clock keeps updating, but when we get to zero, we get to zero. And when we update this, um, and we need to do something else. So clock updated. Clock updated, uh, which is null. So and we set the flag, right? Is that right? Okay, so we're going to need, no, it's clock updated here. I think it has to be volat volatile. Otherwise, even if it's a pointer, it can cause problems. So let's do it like that. So in here, what we're going to do is timer 
ini uh, no time ini no 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 time start and and no that's the what what the, what, what, what the, so we see now that the clock is updated, but we are not telling how many seconds are left, right? So for that, we need another function. So... Timer value is going to return the, the number of seconds. And I keep forgetting the T. And this is what is given us the timer value. Okay. So timer start. Uh, we're going to say so. So. Time max, we can start with 60 seconds. So, let's see. So, game time. And then, uh, we are going to pass the flag clock updated, right? And then we need our own time here. Is that right? Um, ba -ba 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 so time is going to be game time max. Cool. And here, what we're going to check is the time is basically a timer. So if clock has been updated, then we do time equals timer value. And then um Maybe not, because we could be saying here the that that's I like it like this, and then we say that the hot is needs to be updated because the time has changed. And okay, sorry, I made a mistake here because it is not like that, it's not updated. It is we need to keep that variable clock updated. So, so clock updated is the one we need to change. And then is when it crashes. Well, it's not showing anything because we are not printing the time. There you go. The timer is that seconds. Too quick, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Is that too quick or too slow? I 
think it's too quick. That doesn't look like seconds to me. Uh, could be that. What if we do this and we do well, we can even give it more. So we can do this. So five, four, nine, four, five. Five four nine four five, and then we just keep adding zeros here. So instead of being milliseconds, we had we had multiplied by three. So that is is that right? That should give us more precision, right? Look at that! Look at that! Mm, it didn't work. Excellent. Well done. Uh, what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so instead of this, we're gonna add two zeros. And then, is that going to make any difference? I mean, she will give us, because I'm not rounding that much, right? Oh, oopsie. Um, that looks more like it. That looks more like seconds to me. as a timer uh, we need to think what we do when we get to zero uh, yeah there are different ways of doing this when you get to zero um, you just can remove one life and then what we got the timer up I guess um, and that could be a way of doing it. Uh, another thing we can be doing is we could be having a sprite of a, of a ghost or something. Like, uh, what is what I call in, in, an, in another game. In Brilric, for example, we have the time monster. You know, Bubble Bubble, Bubble Bubble. You get the, the monster whale or whatever is the, is the name, right? Um, so we could be doing that. Just have a ghost. When you get them into zero, there is a ghost, and the ghost after the player goes after the player. So either you die and you recover the time, or you complete the stage before it kills you. Yeah, because just killing one life, what is what is, what, is, what, is, what what happens is that it's kind of unfair uh, very often because you lose a life, you know you are rushing because you're running out of time then you get killed and then after getting killed the time goes off um then you lose a lot of life and it's not fair uh, so maybe the, the time monster works better okay i don't know but i think the timer is done now i don't like too much about the timer I don't need I don't need the, the name for the functions. So this is a oh, no block. Okay, so this is going to be six. I 
think it's fine. But it's the name of the functions is not it's not what I like. It's I, I don't like it too much because timer start. Yeah, but it's timer is kind of the name of the module, so I, at the end I'm using name spaces like that, otherwise it gets messy. Then stop uh, clock clock enable is zero. Let's try that because why not? So if keys for example we can do and if we do enter Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. So we don't have enter a space bar. I don't like that at all. I'm going to change the name. Space, not a space bar. Okay, so I press the space. Stop the timer. Press enter. Press start the timer. Pause. Resume. Pause. Resume. Or resume. Cool. Well, I mean, it, it, I think it was kind of clear it was going to work. So. Cool, well, this was a little bit unexpected. I, that's, this is not what I wanted to do uh, today, but I think it's been interesting. I mean, we still don't have anything. Still don't have anything close to a game. Uh, that's why I wanted to add the player, because when we start moving the player and jumping and stuff, that, that's, that's nice, because it starts to feel like, like a game. But well, it's okay. I mean, we have the we have the hood now. It's just something we need to do. Um, and perhaps it's not amazing, but can we do something to make it look slightly better? Like. Can we, can we add for pixels? Not on a stage, and the stage is going to be the other way around. So it's going to be removing four pixels. And why I'm doing this? Because it's going to give us a little bit of a of a because it's too close to the border. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm playing on a flat screen and everything, but you play that on a monitor, so I think it looks slightly better now. I mean, it's just for pixels, but it's not as close. And actually, did I move that? Yeah. It was, it was, yeah, it's for pixel what we change. Cool. So let's tweak that. So, um, and Yeah, I think it looks uh, another one. Yeah, 
slightly better. Let me see the full screen. Yeah, well, in full screen it really doesn't matter because it's not using all my screen. But uh, yeah, I, th I think I prefer that it doesn't sh it doesn't get too close to the border. Although it looks weird now because the sprite has some extra pixels on the side, right? Like how many? I am trying, but I'm failing like three more pixels. So it's like we have on that side five instead of four. So five plus four is almost 10 pixels. Um, should we account for that? I mean, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so in a stage, we need to remove three pixels. So 297 and in here, 249. And now it looks better. Uh, and time is still center in the center. Yeah, looks looks good. I'm going to keep that. So um, so what? Um, so how do, how do you know? Uh, anyway. Yeah, I don't find the words, it's late. And yeah, it's, it was a good session. Um, so today is Thursday. Uh, so the next stream that I have planned is for next Tuesday. So which is good and bad. Good because I can keep drawing sprites and keep planning things that I don't want to do streaming because it's going to be super boring and slow and you don't want me, you don't want to see me, to watch me put in a pixel and then another pixel and then change the previous pixel because I don't like it and then put another pixel and, and so forth. So that's probably better to, to do it offline. Um, I also want to make some tests with the, with the sound because if I don't start testing things and 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 finding what I'm going to use adding that later on and realizing that the hard problems with that is going to be a, a little bit bad so I should be uh, even if I not doing it but at least have clear that what I plan to use can be used and try make some tests with some placeholder, placeholder music but if it's not mine you know just to see that it works um yeah and you know do more sprays but you know there's a chance that i do one on a schedule uh stream for hard time and and we can start doing the player and the entity system or maybe just the player first because i think i'm going to i'm i'm liking the way i'm interfacing with the with the clock here so i guess we could be doing something similar with the player. So what I was mentioning at the beginning, um, keep all the player data private uh, in for the player and then provide functions to access that. That could work well. Um, so we can do the player first, you know, get this guy moving and jumping around, uh, tweak the gravity, collision detection, because we, are, we have the functions already in the map. But obviously, yeah, we still need to use that. Um, and yeah, when we have the character jumping around and moving around, we can even potentially do something with the deadly blocks. Maybe, I don't know. Or may I, I think it's probably best if we start adding the main mechanic, which is picking up the gold 
So it's going to be similar to Night Night. In Night Night, what you have to do is to walk over all the tiles on the screen. And in here, it's going to be similar. But instead of working on the tiles, you need to pick up all the gold. And the gold basically could be covering all the tiles. So it's going to be essentially the same. Uh, so it's like a 2D Pac-Man, something like that. So yeah, we could be doing that because that's the core mechanic and the sooner we got we get that in place probably the better um so when that is working it's just just start adding enemies or you know if the goal bit is a little bit boring to do we can add the player add the gravity and start because i'm not completely sure about that if that's going to be the right mechanic for the game but yeah why not I mean, it's going to be the same as Night Night, and we know that Night Night works and it's funny, fun, fun to play. So um, it should be fun as well. Um, yeah. So either enemies or the other thing. I mean, I keep putting on the bottom of the screen what I'm working on during the day, but obviously today I didn't do the player. But we can do that. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for today. See you next time. Bye 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 bye.